Wednesday was a massive news day in NASCAR. Let's talk about it. Apparently everybody decided that Wednesday was the day we were going to just announce everything that was left to be announced, at least amongst like the prime grade A rides out there. First was the Joe Gibbs Racing Xfinity Series announcement, which was bigger than I think any of us thought it was going to be. So to start with, we have Sheldon Creed, the dumbest driver in RCR history, taking his Clark Kent glasses to JGR for the number 18 car racing for the driver's championship next year. In the number 81 car, we have Chandler Smith, who bought his way out of colleague so that he could return to the TRD family. He'll be in the number 81 car full-time, also chasing a driver's championship. And then in the number 20 car, we have former Joe Gibbs Racing driver Eric Almarola and 2007 Milwaukee Xfinity winner Eric Almarola will be sharing that car with John Hunter Nemechek. Not pictured here because you all know who John Hunter Nemechek is. And then in the number 19 car, this is where things get a little wild, you have Ryan Truex Jr., Xfinity winner Ryan Truex Jr. Oh, he's not a junior. He is. You also have Joe Graff Jr., who continues to get rides, quality rides, at that Obviously, he's paying to be here. He also got a Buffalo Bills player to invest in him. I don't know if that's a good return on investment. You should probably just put that in the stock market. 8% annual return is much better than potentially what he can give you. We also have Taylor Gray joining that ride as well from Tricon, who was hyped up as being this next guy up and hasn't really lived up to it. Did flip a car, though, one time, which thankfully he's okay. Let's not do that again. And then we also have William Sawalich, who is tiny and 18, and that's why his picture is also very tiny right here. He's an ARCA Series winner. He'll be joining the number 19 team once he turns 18 in 2024. But that is the Joe Gibbs Racing announcement. Pretty big, a lot bigger than I think any of us expected. Uh, no word on like who Almarola's announce or sponsor is. We obviously know it's not Smithfield, but he does have other partners out there. No real sponsorship announcement across the board for any of them. But Joe Gibbs Racing bringing a four-car team to the Xfinity Series next year on a full-time basis is really strong. Of course, Creed and Chandler Smith are going full-time for a driver's championship, and then the 19 and the 20 car will be racing for an owner's championship. It is going to be interesting with the 20 car. John Hunter Nemechek won't be eligible to race those final 10 races of the year in the Xfinity Series playoffs, so that means that Eric Almarol is likely going to be in that car for a pretty good period of time at the end of the season. And if Joe Gibbs Racing wasn't big enough announcement for you, we also got another announcement, one that I don't think anybody saw coming, honestly. It was Colleg Racing announcing that they will have a third full-time Xfinity Series team next year, and it will be driven by Shane Van Gisbergen. He will join AJ Allmendinger and Josh Williams, complete that trifecta for Colleg Racing, at least on the full-time side, in the Xfinity Series next year, and that is a really stout lineup. SVG joining the Xfinity Series on a full-time basis is an interesting one considering he does not have any super speedway experience and his first race in Xfinity will be at Daytona in February. Of course, they could run him in the ARCA race, which is generally what teams have done historically, but that's not really possible considering the ARCA race is the same day as the Xfinity race in 2024, which will be a bit of a problem. So hopefully they can get him into that ARCA open test and he can go run there and get some experience in the draft at least because it's way different on track than it is on iRacing. But college racing next year on the road courses for Xfinity with AJ Allmendinger and Shane Van Gisbergen, there's a solid chance everybody else is just racing for second or third place out there because those two guys are probably going to put on an absolute show. I've seen everybody be like, oh, it's going to be like Ambrose in 2012 at Watkins Glen. And it might be. I mean, these two guys, obviously, both of them are cup winners last year on the road course. AJ is incredibly good on road courses, especially in the Xfinity Series. For him going back down full time next year, along with Van Gisbergen, if Colleg doesn't win all of the road course races, that would honestly almost be a surprise. Of course, they probably won't. Mechanical failures, everything like that plays into a factor. Caution's falling at the wrong time. But SVG joining on a full time basis, really big news. He'll also do seven Cup Series races next year as well uh, with Trackhouse. Uh, also included in the seven cup races are two races at Talladega, which is going to be absolutely wild for him. The Kiwi turned Australian, turned American, going to Talladega for the first time is going to be an eye-opening experience for him. But he will also have sponsorship from WeatherTech. Cooper McNeil died so that Shane Van Gisbergen could thrive, or I guess. But if you look at Cooper McNeil's Instagram or Twitter bio, he does have a setup a bit like a 16-year-old girl that's a cheerleader who's like, I've won nationals nine times. He has all of his career accomplishments in his bio, which is kind of odd for an adult man. Regardless, colleague making a big announcement, which is cool to see. We'll see how SVG does in the Xfinity Series next year. 
And then the last announcement, one that I think everybody knew coming, I mean, we all knew it was coming, we were just waiting for the formal announcement, was Noah Gragson to Stuart Haas Racing next year to replace Eric Almirola in that number 10 car. Obviously, that's been the rumor for a while. We've seen pictures of him from a fan tour where he's hanging out at the SHR shop with the number 10 team. We knew it was going to happen. They did not make any announcements on the sponsorship for his car. They did show a, like, photo shoot the press photo for him and he's just wearing a blank black fire suit which is interesting he does from what we've heard bring a tad bit of sponsorship but the team will announce sponsorship at a later date we'll see what that is going forward he'll be paired up with drew blickensurfer as his crew chief which honestly is good drew's smart he's calm on the radio he's a good guy to help guide noah through what is hopefully for noah's sake his first full-time nascar cup series season where he doesn't get dismissed halfway through so now most of the big time rides are already spoken for at least in the xfinity and the cup series the number uh 16 car in, in the cup series with call racing still waiting to hear on that we heard it was tied down we heard it's not tied down it probably will likely end up being an all-star car of some sorts but that's really the last big announcement coming most of the top tier xfinity rides actually all of them are already spoken for there's a few truck series rides what's going to happen with hattori who's going to go into the number 38 truck at front row uh, that still need to be announced so we'll see what happens with that in the coming weeks but for the most part all the big announcements are wrapped up now we're just waiting around until february when we head to la for the clash so like and subscribe to the channel follow me on twitter at break hard instagram and twitter at break hard blog we'll be back from the break hard west headquarters next week to our normal background